I'm James Beaton. I'm Senior Curator at MEMA. Well, the ideas expressed in the proposal were really sound and clearly very intelligently thought through. So it was something that we were interested in anyway. You know, MEMA is always interested in engaging with other creatives and uh, people in the area who are wanting to do something with art. So that was really important for us. And it was a, it was a, you know, a bit of a no-brainer, to be quite honest, when somebody comes to you and says they want to help you find ways of providing exposure to a greater number of artists. Um, of course, you're going to, to want to, to support that. We have a collection at MEMA, and we're very conscious that we don't have the opportunity to show all of it all of the time, or even as much of it as we might like at any one time. So that was another element that we found so exciting, a recognition that there are great works held in museums, collection stores, that don't get out enough, and this was a great opportunity to address that. I think the idea of being exposed to art in spaces across the town centre, spaces that people will go to anyway, that they're not necessarily having to make a de determined and concerted effort to go into a gallery space. They're just going to have the opportunity to be exposed to art whilst doing their shopping or whilst hanging out or relaxing. That's really important because what that does is make very clear the idea that art can be part of everybody's life, that it doesn't have to be something that you make a determined effort to go and see. Um, I think it's really important that it is spread up, out across the town and not just something that happens in MEMA. And it's particularly exciting for me because I was involved in the project before MEMA opened and after the, old, the previous two art galleries had closed down, I was involved in the project of bringing art to the streets of Middlesbrough. Um, it was a very inspiring and exciting time for me and since we've opened MEMA we've kind of retreated back in. We've had to, that's, that's all we've got time to do. So to have somebody else who's willing to work with us to take art back out onto the streets is, is really important for us. I think it's the responsibility of any art gallery, wherever they're placed, um, you can be too complacent if you're in one of the great cosmopolitan city centres and you can expect people to turn up on your doorstep. You have to work hard. It's your responsibility. You're a publicly funded gallery. Um, however, I wouldn't say that because we're in an industrial uh, city that we are... Um, we have fewer people who are interested in the arts. There has always been a great interest in, in arts in Middlesbrough, and people have always and traditionally been very much behind the arts. If you look right back to the formation of the Cleveland Sketching Club in 1899, um, and the way that that group of people moved through and developed the first art gallery in Middlesbrough in the 1950s, together with, um, with the, the friends of the Middlesbrough Art Gallery at the time, there's always been an indication that people have wanted um, there to be art in Middlesbrough. And I think that's because there's a great pride in Middlesbrough, a great pride in the place. And many people recognise that having a world-class venue that's showing the best of contemporary practice is all part of that. It's all part of making town, the town a better place. It's really the idea that, that art can be for, for anyone. You know, there can be a perception that art is, is about appealing to a particular niche audience to a group of people who are already um, passionate about art, who already know their art history, and that especially modern art and contemporary art can be very difficult for people to, to get into if they don't have that background. And I really don't believe that at all. I'm not from an arts background myself. I didn't study art. I didn't study art history. I came to, the, to this career because I fell in love with a work of art when I, when I first saw it. Now I think that kind of experience can be shared by anybody else. And what has been so exciting for me in the period that I've been working up in Middlesbrough is seeing people coming to exhibitions we've done here and bring their own experiences to it. So it might be that we're looking at a minimalist drawing that is just a few lines on a piece of paper but we'll have people respond to it because they've worked in the construction industry or worked in the shipbuilding industry and have seen a relevance to technical drawings that they might have worked with on a daily basis. Now that's a very important route in and I think that's a route in that's available to so many other people. To get across that idea that you can bring your own experiences to understanding a work of art and that your understanding from that is just as valid as somebody who has um, an MA in art history from Cambridge that's really important and that's what I hope with projects like this we can start to foster that, that understanding in people.